All right, we've we've broken the amount of research points I want to get. The stud is going to go research, go all the way down here. 2D graphics version four. Mr. Juan Parsons is going to generate a game report while Mr. Ben Affleck is on a vacation and everyone's doing something. We're being so productive. Feeling good right now. I'm really feeling good, and which is sad because I know it's going to come to a soon end when I go broke again. Uh, no strong trends. We barely got First Fantasy IX out. Um, but I think it's because we started developing immediately. We were able to do it, so fantastic. All right, get that done, and everyone's back. Ben Affleck is back at the office here. Mr. Juan Parsons is back. Well, he's not back. He's done doing his thing. All right, guys. It's something, time to do something complicated. We're going to develop uh, 3D graphics with version 2, 2D graphics version 5, uh, real, um, real est DLS. Uh, but not, those aren't estimations. It's just est. Um, because est, I don't know why. Uh, moral choices need to be in here. This is going to be expensive. Uh, AI companions will probably spend almost a million on this. And a soundtrack, yes. Uh, I don't know if we really need mono sound anymore. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to say no on mono sound. Uh, level letter, dynamic environment, better dialogues, dialogue tree, game tutorials, better user experience, save game multiplayer, video playback, basic physics, simple cutscenes, advanced cutscenes, more. Okay, I think we need everything. All right, we're spending 950000 on this engine. It'll be totally worth it. Look at this. Look at this. All, oh my gosh. All these. I think these are research points of the light blue. Uh, that's research, um, but I think this is... Oops, I just paused for absolutely no reason. Look at this. A live space is actually done pretty decent. I mean, it's nothing, like, nearly as good as, like, you know, First Fantasy Nine, but, I mean, it's probably will break a million here on this last week, so, which is great. It'll it'll make us a million in profits, and that's good. It, I feel like if it makes enough where it's made up for all its expenses by the end, um, including the time, like, all the money I had to spend in the meantime, like, on, you know, hiring my slaves, uh, which kind of makes them not slaves, actually, sadly. But I like to pretend they're slaves. Um, you know, it's a good thought. Okay. This is good. I want to hire another employee soon, too. We'll have we'll have four people in here. I think the new employee was a great idea. I think that was something kind of holding me back, actually. Uh, hiring Ben Affleck, getting in here, bringing um, celebrity status to our awful, awful little company, let's be honest. Um, making these failure of games, but... He has gone out and advertised. Well, also, when he takes those vacations, I don't really feel that. I, I don't really hate him for it because I feel like he's acting, um, trying to actually make real money because we don't pay him enough here. All right, um, we'll develop a brand new sequel to uh, our surgeon simulation game um, called Operating on Stuff. So we can develop these for the we develop for the PC. Well, the Mbox 360 is actually tr triple triple X for mature audiences, guys. Um, but we already know PC is going to do well for simulation. And we'll put it on the brand new real S deal list engine. Um, operating on Stouffer's. <laughs> I don't know. All right, 2D graphics version 4, everybody. Wait, why didn't I get the 3D graphics on? <gasps> Did I forget to put 3D graphics? Oh, that would be so frustrating. Because then I have to go back all my games will be 2D again because I don't want to develop a new engine yet. Alright, um, engine's um, pretty important for this. So we'll go ahead and do some basic physics and video playback. We, well, we need save game. We probably don't need multiplayer. We don't need video playback. It's a simulation game. Gameplay, uh, we'll get both those in there. And moral choices, who cares? We don't need any of that, any of that crap. We don't need none of that crap. Alright, um, yeah, probably good. I'm trying to like pull out. I want to like try to focus a little more on those. Maybe it'll help me get some more tens in there if I really focus on what's on the side there. Uh, all right, for G3 this year, uh, I'm kind of think we go ahead and just do the medium booth. We'll make our fans love us. Yeah. All right. Um, level design. Yes. Dialogue is a little more maybe. Uh, we'll cut out uh, dialogues here. Better dialogues. Go ahead and get ourselves some dynamic environment and AI companions. Uh, and AI. Um, for some. I'm assuming that's three. All right. Uh, let's do. Let's go with that. Sweet. All right. We'll go ahead and spend some more big monies on some marketing. Look at that. We we were over 5.5 million, I think, was the highest I saw it. And now we're at 3.6. We've blown all our money on this stupid engine and everything. It was really not a smart idea at all. I'm not trying to, like, make, me, make myself sound good. This was probably the stupidest thing I've ever done, to be honest. But I'm proud. And that's what matters. All right, we don't need a day and night. Well, we probably need a day and night cycle. Uh, because we need to, the doctors. We'll have a lighting thing where it's harder to do them at night. Uh, it'll be one of those things where it makes the game challenging by making it annoying and bad. 
uh, which are the best games, as we all know. All right, let's see how we do G3 this year. Maybe we'll make it in top 100 boost for the first time in forever. Um, for the first time in forever, we're in the number one booth slot. We have Mbox 360 and PC games. Uh, we did okay, uh, but not top 100 boost. But, you know, we got fans. People like us. 54,000 people out there. If they said, hey, do you like the Indie MG game stud? They'd be like, well, yes, I do love the Indie MG game stud. In fact, we have 130 hype build for this game. This game better be great. Otherwise, people are going to be really mad. <laughs> All right. Um, ben is going to want to raise soon, and that's just not going to be okay. All right. Operating on stu- Oh! Oh! Jessica! I love you. Don't tell my wife. Oh, Ch Chris. Oh, my wife. Oh, oh, my wife. See, this is this is why. This is why uh, I kind of got to think for Jessica right now. And Chuck says... This is beautiful, guys. Look. Look. Are you ready? Oh, oh Ben. Ben, start working on the airport. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the money! Oh, I love the monies. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, the new engine. It's the new engine that did it, guys. Out of nowhere, a company called Kick It. Oh, oh, it's the Oya. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, I don't care. I, I give it up. Go, stop. Oh, guys, we're so freaking rich. Look at all the hits we've made. We become. A real company we're real people oh and you know what? it's time for hire a new person uh, we're gonna invest some big monies into getting someone good well that's the whole 500,000 actually 510,000 in fact and we'll get someone who's show real I guess uh, which maybe will make them good at design I don't heck I don't know anything all right um, I don't know. all right operating on Stoford all right yes all right Riley Ruiz uh, level 3 Experience 344 and 215 speed. All right. Uh, wow, you're not nearly as good. Uh, oh, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, I don't want. I don't really want that much tech. I think I'm just gonna go with number one here. Uh, he's not the fastest researcher. This guy's a much faster. Well, this guy's having so much more speed. I kind of like him. All right, we're taking the chance here with Riley Ruiz. Um, hopefully that's how he says his name. He wears sweater vest. Um. Which, let's be honest, it's a bit nerdy. Um, but we don't, we're not going to judge him for that, okay? Uh, we're going to welcome him into the crew. We're all going to go out um, and break his nose and basically just hurt him a lot. And that's how we welcome people here at the NEMG Game Stud. It's kind of cruel. And they usually get offended. But that's okay. I mean, eh, it's not my fault. I mean, it's kind of my fault. All right, everyone's like in this like chill mood right now. Mr. Juan Parsons needs a vacation. Uh, and the studs doing fine. I don't really understand like when we hire a new employee uh, Like everyone decides that they're just gonna like their bars are gonna go down All right, uh, we're not doing anything right now, and that's just not that's just not good All right, it's time to develop a sequel and I know like I don't really develop new games enough And I really need to and if you guys want to leave some suggestions down below You can do that do it right now go to the comment section below say hey I want you to make this game it could be a real-life game and maybe suggest like an alternate title for it because I think it's kind of fun like um, to all these other ones like fall in uh, which is our post-apocalyptic RPG. You can figure that out, I'm sure. We got First Fantasy 9. I'm sure you can figure that one out. A live space. I mean, come on. These are all, like, um, obviously, like, ripoffs to other games that I've come up with. And lots of you guys have come up with, too. So, anyways, yeah, leave that down below in the comment section. And let me know. So, thanks for watching. I do hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to pound that like button down below and show your support. And as always, subscribe to join the team. You can connect with me on Twitter. Um, at Nicknack Games, or you can leave a comment on the channel or down this video, and we can say hello. We can have a nice talk. I'm also on Reddit uh, as the NDMG, but I don't check that. So that was a pointless plug. Goodbye. <laughs>